welcome to marine engineering hub this is your narrator ravi gupta today we going to talk about the guidelines these are the very important guideline which are known as g8 and g9 in today topic we will talk about g8 guideline which talk about the approval requirement for the ballast water treatment system before beginning the video i want to tell you that i have made a video regarding the standard like d1 d2 d3 d4 on d5 basically the standard deals with the requirement of treatment of the ballast water plant so i request all of you to please watch that video so that before watching this so that you get a clear idea i will give the description of that video in my description box so let's start the today video of g8 and g9 of ballast water treatment system so first is that what is g8 and what is g9 so g8 is basically guideline for approval of ballast water management system and g9 is a procedure for approval of ballast water management system that make the use of active substance so the first difference is that if you are using active substance in the ballast water treatment system in that case you have to take both approval of g8 and g9 and if you are not using active substance then you have to only take the approval of g8 so in today video we will see what is g8 so basically the g8 is the guideline for approval of ballast water management system which are which talks about basically the standard which a ballast water treatment should undergo before being given license for the approval certificate so basically they are subjected to two tests one is the sore based test and other is the sieve board test in sore based test what we do suppose you have constructed a ballast water treatment system like this okay now you have constructed a ballast water treatment system but how you will make sure that this system is approved by the classification society approved by the imo and approved is okay to use on board ship so that is been said in g8 that if you have make a new system and to make to get type approval for the mass production you need to undergo this test you need to prove that your system is efficient for this test so the first test is the sore based test in sore based test what happen first suppose you have constructed a ballast water treatment system now first what you have to do you have to perform the sore based test in sore based test you have to first treat a 200 meter cube of water and after the water is been treated it will be kept for 5 day and after 5 day it will be check that what are the chances of regrowth of microbes and what are the condition of the water after 5 days this is the first test which is called sore based test which is performed on sore after you have constructed a ballast water treatment system whose approval you are seeking the second test is the sieve board test okay so the first question also come to our mind so what we are checking in 5 day i am telling you 5 day in 5 day what we are checking in 5 day after 5 day we are checking that what are the standard which has been set by the d2 is matching it with or not means basically the standard is this i have explained you the standard of the d2 in my earlier video basically the standard deals with the different size of the organisms and different type of the bacteria the quantity the amount it should able to comply with that after that comes sieve board test in sieve board test basically we are performing a series of tests to which we will make sure that our system is compatible for sieve board use 
the first test come is the testing facility so first thing what we will do going to testing facility is to be carried out by independent facility accepted by the administration facility should implement a rigorous quality control program that addresses appropriate challenge water sample collection sample analysis and method detection limit so basically we are taking the sample which has been treated after that the sample is analyzed for the different type of standard which is been set up by the imo that is d2 standard means after the treatment of that water we will take the sample and we will analyze that what are the condition of water after being treated the second test is the salinity and temperature test the second test talks about that the equipment which we are using is compatible to treat the balash water of different type such as sea water brackish water fresh water the first thing is test that second it test that what are the temperature range at which this treatment is compatible so two thing we are testing first we are testing that whether the water the type of water it is able to do the complying with the d2 standard or not that is with sea water brackish water or fresh water whether the system is compatible or not means if i am treating a water taking balash of fresh water and if i am doing the treatment whether the system is able to treat that water properly and comply with the d2 standard or whether if i if i am going to another where the brackish water is compatible or not and second thing we are testing that as you know because of the different geographical locations the temperature of sea water varies so the range which has been told is that 0 to 40 degree celsius okay and 2 degree to 40 degree celsius for fresh water so in that temperature range we are testing that what are the condition of water as you can see in this diagram temperature a this this is graph a and salinity b this is the salinity graph and this is the temperature graph of surface sea water and sea balash water during a cruise from japan to australia in june 2005 roughly along longitude like this sea surface sea water closed circle okay means this is the sea water okay this is the balash water surface this is the balash water bottom means basically here you can see that what will be the condition of the and depending on the temperature of the treatment depending upon the area of which the balash water is been treated like bottom balash water top balash water like that okay so let me read it out a testing facility is to be carried out across a full range of salinity what is the full range of salinity full range means that the temperature range the temperature range should be compatible with the sorry the density the density should be compatible with from 1 to the 1.25 or 1.025 of the sea water okay that is fresh water brackish water marine the sea water it should be compatible with all range of salinity and through a temperature of a degree of 0 degree to 40 degree celsius a balash water management system is if unable to demonstrate successful performance across salinity or for temperature range it will be assigned limited operated condition is very important I means suppose your balash water treatment system is not compatible with suppose fresh water means your balash water is not complying with the d2 standard in fresh water in that case if you want to take the type approval go ahead with type approval in that case it will be given a limited operated condition means it will be written on the type approval certificate that this balash water treatment plant is not compatible with the fresh water now this limited operating condition also make your balash water treatment system less favorable for the market so these are the very important thing okay now the third thing is the consecutive testing what is consecutive testing consecutive testing consists of two part one is land based and one is the ship based 
a land based testing consists of five consecutive validate a cycle that show d2 compliance is simple it means what we are doing in land based test we are consecutively treating the balash water for the five time cycle means we are using the balash water treatment plant to make sure that if it is been used for a continuous operation it is continually complying with the d2 compliance what is the d2 compliance i have earlier shown you that this is the d2 compliance okay this is the d2 compliance we talk about the various size of organisms and the different type of bacteria the it should comply with this standard okay so first thing is that in land based testing what we are doing we are performing five consecutive tests so which it should show d2 compliance in the land after that if the prototype is installed in a ship it should comply also with the consecutive test at least three time in a span of not more than six month means in a six month period of time we will have to perform three consecutive balas and deballasting operation showing the d2 compliance as you can see in this diagram this is the number of test column showing one two three four this is a sample which has been collected this is a discharge criteria of the organism this is a discharge value and this is the number of organism which are been calculated which is there and this is the percentage so basically what we are analyzing that in this what we are analyzing we are analyzing that how effective our system is when it is put into operation for consecutive test this consecutive operation how effective a system can be this is we are testing now this is also so by the bar graph diagram you can see that we are evaluating that what are the criteria what are the type how the organism organisms amount is been there after being treated and before being treated okay you can see sequence number of organism 50 micro above per meter cube means this is the number the first criteria of the microorganism this is second criteria below that so this we are seeing now system design limitation this is a, another important factor which talks about that suppose you have been given a type approval certificate as you can see here so what this says that what are the important criteria like if you have been provided with this treatment plan so in certificate it should be written that the system to be effective if this system is to be effective suppose if we maintain a flow rate of this range means suppose if we maintain a flow rate of 200 to 500 the system will work very effectively and it has been seen after consecutive days that if we maintain continuously this flow rate range then this system will be working at best operating condition so that thing that flow rate or that ampere rate that thing means that important parameters which can affect the system performance should be written in the type approval certificate this is very important so basically as you can see this is the type approval certificate of one of the balash treatment plant as you can see here the rated capacity is it has been written here the filtration grade which is very important factor is written here and what the rated power it can take it has been written here and after that the system component which is which will be affecting the balash treatment plant is written here so the important the main idea behind is that the important thing which are critical to the system which should be written in the type approval certificate an important development is the concept of documenting the critical parameter known as system design limitation so what we are doing we are documenting the critical parameter okay this parameter impact the operation of balash water management system for example minimum and maximum flow rate between the balash water management system uptake and discharge as i have told you if the flow rate is a deciding factor for the effective implementation of the due compliance and it should be written in the type approval certificate and the design limit for example water quality expressed by oxygen demand or ultraviolet transmutation hdl means system design limitation are to be identified by the manufacturer validated during the testing 
and indicated on the type approval certificate that is very important means it should be indicated on the type approval certificate so now the fifth test is the environmental test means in this testing what we are doing we are basically testing the equipment this equipment which we have constructed will be subjected in a very harsh condition means very harsh condition means what i mean to say that the shipping conditions in which it have to work is not like a land means it, it should be installed in a way it should be subjected to rolling pitching and sea water sea water weather conditions and very rough condition also man handling so for that the equipment should be robust means basically what we are testing that equipment should be safely designed to work in a maximum extreme condition so electrical equipment used mainly in the treatment is subject of environmental test means basically what we are testing the chances the equipment which are being subjected to failure can be subjected to failure are being tested for environmental test that we are testing here so this will give you a clear idea now whatever i have explained till now i will give a synopsis in uh, this through this uh, flow chart that basically the g8 means g8 basically deals with how effective how effective your balash water treatment system is means how effective your balash water treatment system is is being checked by the g8 procedure okay and after that it is been documented it's basically consist of five part one is the which can be divided into two part shore based and land based in shore based we are doing 200 meter cube water testing and in land based sorry in shore based and ship boat based in shore based we are basically doing the 200 meter cube of water testing and in land based sorry in ship boat we are doing the five test what are the five test one is the here one is the testing facility second is the salinity and temperature and third is the consecutive testing and fourth is the system design limitation and fifth is the environmental test so as you can see here environmental testing as i have told you the equipment will be subjected to harsh conditions so what we are testing we are doing the vibration test we are doing the temperature test we are doing the inclination test we are doing the solid and water ingress test and we are doing the voltage voltage basin test so as you can see after a component is designed means you have designed a component okay you have designed a component which works perfectly in a normal operating condition but the ship's condition can be harsh can be very bad so it can be subject to vibration rolling pitching the weather condition and after that a voltage variation so that is all tested in environmental test after that in a land bed test we are testing the test plan approved installation and commission test completed and test report completed and approved in a same way by like in a ship boat test so basically as i am telling you this is the type approval certificate which is given to the company which have manufactured the balash water treatment system after they have successfully showing shown that they have complying with the d2 compliance after going through the type approval program of a certification okay so this is the g8 procedure now in my upcoming video i will be loading the g9 procedure which basically talk about the active substance means if the equipment is using the active substance then what way we can implement it what we are going to see say see it so if you like the video so please do hit the like button please do subscribe and please do share if you are watching till then i'm very thankful to you and i'm very much blessed to have viewers like you please do subscribe please do share and please share on your facebook and instagram post in your telegram in your whatsapp in your wechat whatever social platform please do share our video so that all our friends who want to gain knowledge can come to this platform and can gain it it is been only made for everyone beneficial so please be get benefited and also pass it on thank you friend have a good day